HD Smartcast. You're listening to a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has agreed to allow UN aid deliveries to opposition held northwest Syria through two additional border crossings from Turkey for 3 months. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said on Monday. Assad agreed to open the crossings of Bab al-Salam and al-Ra'i, Guterres said in a statement after UN aid chief Martin Griffiths met with the Syrian president in Damascus on Monday. Griffiths told the UN Security Council of Assad's decision during a closed door meeting. Diplomats earlier told Reuters, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi over allegations of fraud by the Adani group, asking how references at the embattle tycoon made in a parliamentary speech could be seen as an insult to the Prime Minister. Addressing party workers at Meenangadi in North Kerala Swaynad, his Lok Sabha constituency, Gandhi said that he did not use abusive language and yet parts of his Lok Sabha speech were expunged, but Modi's speech remained on the record despite him insulting Gandhi's parents and family. New Zealand declared a national state of emergency for only the third time in its history as Cyclone Gabriel's landfall caused widespread flooding and landslides in the country forcing evacuations and stranding people on rooftops. New Zealand declared national emergencies after an earthquake in 2011 and when the COVID pandemic hit in 2020. Actor Chandan K. Anand shared a warm equation with Ali Barba, the Astani Kabul co-star Tony Shah Sharma who breathed last in December 2022. In a chat with him the Ustan Times, he revealed the late actor wished to speak with him, days before her death. Tony Shah Sharma was found dead on December 24 on the sets of Li Baba. Reportedly, she died by suicide and her co-star, ex-boyfriend Shiza Khan has been arrested on charges of abetment to suicide. In the show, Chandan played Tony Shah's maternal uncle, Saddam. Former Team India coach Gary Kirsten recalled that when he was appointed as the head coach of the Indian team in December 2007, he sensed a lot of scarring and unhappiness in the team. The South Africa batting great pointed out that Sachin Tendulkar was deeply unhappy and was contemplating retirement at that period. The story of Tendulkar wanting to retire after the World Cup in West Indies is well known but Kirsten's revelation that he had continued having those feelings, despite having bossed the latter half of the year 2007 comes as a bit of a shocker. You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap. A beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. This was a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. HD Smartcast